Hello everybody, welcome back to George's Cards and stuff. I nearly forgot. Um, today I'd like to show you how I made this, this card. I made this card using a few stamp sets. Quite curvy dies. In this one I'm using the little flowers. Two birds. I don't know what two I've got out, but I'm using two birds. And... I have used this die to do the edge in here. I just cut it like that. I've done this already because I have to do this on the big shot. And I've already got out the dies that I need to cut out. The rest of the stuff we're going to stamp. For this I'm changing the colour. I've got soft sifo. No. S yeah, soft sifo. I was going to say seaside spray. I get them two mixed up. Right, this is soft sifo of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. Folded in half. I have a piece of white at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I have a piece of Soft Sea Zone Designer Series paper. Don't ask me where this come from. I just found it in my drawer when I was looking for a paper to go on this. And I'm quite surprised I found some. I think it's from, because it's got little stars on it, the Designer Series paper that was called Twinkle Twinkle or the stamp set was called Twinkle Twinkle can't remember but that's where that come from and it's the only paper I've got that's soft sea foam and then I've also got this sorry measures uh, three and three quarters by five and a half and this did measure three and three quarters by five and a half but then I cut it in half with the curvy die. Right, we and you need some scrap wipes which I've got here to stamp out all my other bits. I need more than that. So we are oh and I'm using tasteful dies, label dies. I'm going to be using that one. No that one. Yeah, this die for the sentiment, and then obviously I've got these dies here for the flowers and two of the birds. So let's stamp the sentiment first. That's in. Versafine I'm using and that will get cut out there like that and I think no let's cut this out Don't know why I'm being frugal on the paper because on the card because I've got a, quite a bit of white scraps. And there's our sentiment. Put this back. Oh no, I need that. Don't need that. Right. 
Now then, we're going to stamp these flowers. I need to re-ink my black memento. That's better. We got both of them on here. No. Okay, so never said you do need two of them. And then the birds. One there. Turn it over because there's a bird on the other side. And one there. Just need colouring in and cut out. Right, we do need a part piece for the inside. And all I've done on the what did I do on the inside? A happy birthday, which I haven't got, but I've got this one. A happy birthday to you, that'll do. to my versifying. I like that for sentiments. That's better. And I did the corners. Getting everything today. I'm using the trio die uh, punch to fancy up the corners. Oops, get rid of them. And that's our inside done. So let's concentrate on these so we can cut them out. Right, I am going to use, which I haven't used for a long time, marker pens. I thought, well, since as these were such small um, images, I will use my marker pens on them. I haven't used these for so long. This colour is Daffodil Delight. So flat that's our birds. Right, now then the flowers. There's some little uh, images that look like this on here and I'm just colouring them in seaside foam.
sorry about that. Right, now I'm using pepper sauce, I think. Should be. Yep, pepper sauce. And these is for the leaves. And then old olive for the flower stems. Hope everybody's got their new orders that they ordered in January. I know it took seven weeks for mine to come. Seven weeks, that's a lot. I'm gonna I didn't order in February even though it's still February now but I will be putting in another order soon we'll see how long that takes right these this is blushing bride the other one I use petal pink. Doesn't take long to do this. Might do for you a lot because you're sitting there watching bored. Sorry. Right, that's them coloured. All we've got to do now is cut them all out. So we place this over the image, line it up nicely. And Glue it down, glue it down, tape it down. Stick it on the plates. In fact, if I do this right, I can cut a bird out at the same time. We've got the right die, yeah. There's one bird, 
and one set of flowers. Place the second one on. second bird on oh rubbish day today the men are here Two weeks of plastics and papers to collect because they never came a fortnight ago because of all the snow. Snow's in Britain and everything stops. Right, oh, we've got one more thing left to cut out, and that's a little leaf here for the bird to sit on at the bottom of the card. I quite like this little die. That's <laughs> what one of our birds is going to sit on. Right, bring it all back. Right, that can go inside. And this goes on here. And then we put the sentiment there with a flower at the top and a flower at the bottom and a bird at the top and then this little leaf and a bird there. Doesn't that look pretty? I'm going to have to put a ribbon there. So let's glue all this down so the designer series paper on the white oh, not did that very well white card base on here done it again The ribbon. Oh no, I don't need to add the ribbon because it's just a knot. Oh, I'll put that on the bottom. I don't matter. Hmm. That's okay because we can have this down here. Now here. And we can have our leaf and our bird up there. Yeah. 
still does okay right with this what I did I cheated a little bit I put glue along the bottom and then I glued it onto there and I did the same with the top one The reason I've done that because it's easier to put your dimensionals on. This here, and we want a small dimensional for the bird, two in fact. Because I could have put one big one on it. And we're going to pop him. I'm going to pop him there. No, I'm not. Over here. And this. Just glue down this. Put a dimensional on that and sit him on the branch. Right, I'm not doing a bow, I'm just going to do a knot, making it into a false. False bow, so so she can't even tie a knot. And that's going to sit on there. So we're going to. Slice it up. In fact, no, don't like that. Let's do a bow. on bows for ages. I'll just pop that there. Nice little bow. Should have wrapped that ribbon round that way. Never mind. 
Pop some glue on that. And pop that down like that. Oh, I didn't add any gems on the other one. I think I will add some on this one. It's a completely different card, but that don't matter. What have I got? Let's put some of these on. Um. Just put a random three on it. Let's add some to this one. All right, put one there, one there, one there. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.